Hi, welcome to today's pick a card. For those of you who already have subscribed, thank you and welcome back. Today we are going to do another reading, channeled messages from your um, beloved. Could be family member, friend, whoever, but I'm going to read this mainly as a romantic interest. And um, yeah, I'm going to use different decks. There will be three piles. You can click the timestamps below if you don't want to watch the live shuffling. I like doing the live shuffling so that people know that because I often have synchronicities in my readings that the same topic comes up over and over again within one pile. So I like to show you that, no, I'm never ever pre-selecting cards. However, I'm going to show you the decks I'm using. It is going to be the Romance Angels. The power animal oracle cards i did record a flip through that i'm going to yeah um in a couple of weeks probably you'll be able to see it it's the gateway oracle cards the psychic tarot the past life oracle cards the whispers of love the oracle of the shapeshifters and the Oshus and Tarot. So these will be the cards and again you can skip this life shuffling part and um, find your timestamps below. Yeah. I will see you then. And if you're still here, hello. <laughs> let's, um, oh, let's do your piles. As usually I absolutely appreciate if you subscribe, hit the bell icon like leave comments and share how many of these okay each pile gets two because that just helps me grow my channel and um, i'm having so much fun doing that of course also you know the spiel i am available for personal readings and you can even win your own personal reading once i hit 500 subscribers i'm going to get the biggest one first uh, once I hit 500 subscribers, I'm going to give away two free readings. By the way, I have so many decks, probably like 80 different decks. <laughs> if you ever see me use one and you want to know more about the deck, then you can just write to me and I um, or leave a comment. And I'm going to record a flip through. Is this this pile, second pile or a third? Maybe. That's like this card, I'm not <laughs> sure, <laughs> because I took them both together. It wants to be taken, pile two, or three, two, three. Okay, pile two gets two cards. So. Anyway, how are you doing? Let me know. I've had some ascension symptoms in the last week or so, and today it's better. I've had like good days and not so good days. You no, know, I felt like when you're getting sick, but it doesn't really break out. Uh, the spirit told me it was just ascension symptoms, so it's okay. We just gotta get through them, right? <laughs> Eventually, I'll look for the four master number, get to know each other. Two days ago, I recorded a video. What was it called? Yeah, it, it was like you versus them. And I was astounded because there were so many aces. I remember the first pile had four aces, all four aces. The second one had three aces and the third one had four aces. And I drew six, uh, sorry, 18 cards per pile. And then the fourth had two aces. And um, the deck has, has 78 cards. And all of those aces, I mean, it's, it's incredible that so many aces came out in all of the piles. Which is telling me that there's something big going on. We are, seem to enter like a energy that has a lot to do with the new beginnings. One or two cards. Okay, one of these. 
and I've never ever, I mean, we do have the waiting game here, but you see there's already growth going on, and I feel that we are in a period right now that those who have done their shadow work, I mean, this is always important, right, to do your work, and those who have done, they will be rewarded greatly soon. I mean, four aces out of 18 cards in two piles, one had three, one had two. That was just so incredible. You can check it out. Um, that was my cat. I don't know what the hell he did just there. Oh, a spider. Don't worry, spider still lives. Oh. <laughs> we found a spider in my room. Spiders, look, we got the high priestess, pretty. F Spiders are often talking, I mean, I'm not an expert on all power animals. Unfortunately, there's none in here, no spider. But spiders are often talking about weaving webs, like new beginning. I once had a meditation and um, I was talking to a spider and I saw it like knitting nets, you know, you see them in, in Greek mythology, those three women, Norns, I believe they're called, who are like weaving the um, thread of life. And in my meditation, there was the spider I was talking to that is, um, of course, just an archetype, you know, and ultimately everything is us. So every spirit you talk to is just <laughs> part of yourself in, in some way. You just connect to this universal archetype and we are all part of spirit so um ultimately we are all one right so whatever you you whomever you talk to if it's a deceased loved one is it as an, an masters angelic beings extraterrestrials power animals totem animals fairies dragons whatever it is it is just um an archetype that exists in this universe that you connect to and of course it can translate in different ways. Um, it can translate for some, I mean, in, in Greek mythology, there were gods, you know, and there was like Aphrodite, who was the archetype of love. And then other cultures had different names for that. And it doesn't even matter what you call it. It's just an archetype. It's an energy that exists in the universe. And, um, we are all, of course, connected, and some are connected more to specific archetypes than others. Like, for example, your power animals. You know, you have several power animals. You have, like, a group of power of animals. However, you can always call a specific energy in. For example, butterflies stand for transformation. So power animals, you have, like, a team, as you have, like, a team of angelic beings around you, and um, you can connect to that in a specific way whereas a totem is more like something you are born with for example my totem is snake and i believe i have two totems i once heard uh, that we do have a shadow totem and a light totem and shadow is often something um an animal you're scared of and you have to master that power first accept that what the animal represents within yourself and then that phobia can dissolve and then you have a light totem which can it doesn't have to be but can be an animal you absolutely adore for me elephants and um, elephants never showed up and when i meditated only recently as in like two years ago elephants started to show up or yeah like two years ago one and a half years ago because i think i've mastered the shadow totem and then the light totem could come but which doesn't mean that Snake is no longer part of me, it um, still is, because snake, of course, is the seer, that's what I'm doing, it's the healer, it's connected to earth, it's connected to spirit, because it is the seer, and, yeah, anyway, um, I was talking about it, it just, we just went from one thing to the next, <laughs> And I was talking about all of the aces, about new beginnings, and that just gave me the image of the spider that is weaving new beginnings. Now for those, you know, like, um, you could call it also like jumping timelines, going from one timeline to the next. 
And that is something that is happening for many right now who, who are doing their work, who learned about manifesting and they will get major new beginnings. Again, four aces, all four aces and one 18 card reading and that and two piles and then one three ace pile. Um, if you're wondering what, um, no, this one fell out. <laughs> if you're wondering what reading I'm talking about, again, it's the me versus you or them versus me reading me versus them which is actually my signature reading so if you would ever book a reading concerning what does my person feel for me um what do they think likely future outcome this would be the reading i am doing for you i've been doing this reading for many 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 years since um yeah i am doing this job for More like more more than fifteen years, I think I started as a professional card reader when I was twenty two, and I'm thirty eight now, so it has been a while. Wait, I'm going to put those on top. <laughs> and this is one that I it's a reading that I altered, and it gives me deep insight. So if you want to know what your connection is like right now both of your sides like also what is my job right now my blind spot how am i doing in this um, development then check out that reading i don't know if i'm going to make this one publicly first and then the other one afterwards i don't know yet i have already uploaded it but i haven't created the thumbnail yet and stuff like that but please check it out if you want a more sexual reading then please check it out. I have one called What Do They Want Me To Do To Them? That was a fun reading. I did some sexual readings that were kind of creepy. I don't know why. I was like, no, I want to do a fun one. <laughs> anyway, we got three pies. We've got a pink flower in number one. We've got the purplish porcelain flower, number two. And another pink one, number three. So it's one, two, and three. Please pick your pile. I have to put those over there because I have so many. No, I can't put them all there. Also, we are going to use my chatted messages. Anyway, pile number one. Let's see what is um, a channeled message from a person. Orca magic. The Akashic Libraries are open. Oh my God, that's an amazing card. And you see it's number seven, 43. Seven is a very spiritual number, perfect for this card. Akashic Libraries are open. I am going to do um, a reading about past lives pretty soon, about past life connections. So if you don't want to miss it again, subscribe and hit the bell icon. I don't know when exactly I'm going to do it. I have a list of readings I want to do. <laughs> but sooner or later, I am going to do it. If you want me to do that soon, you can leave a comment. Then I know that this has more priority than other readings. And I don't know why this happened. So, Akashic Libraries are open. And still, I um, if you skipped the intro, maybe you want to listen to it, to the live shuffling. I explained something... Um, about energies that I've felt lately and um, I just had a vision of a vision I had <laughs> years ago <laughs> and I was not talking about orc I was talking about spiders weaving a web however I'm feeling drawn to that again so if you want more information please rewind and listen to the intro but Akashic Library is open that is interesting let's see what else we got we got Deception and Envy. That would be the Seven of Swords. I've got Vows. Oh my God, this is... Yeah. Okay, I already see a connection. So this is definitely a past life connection you've got, okay? We've got the Moose Authority. You know what is best for you. We've got Embracing the Future. I step into the future with an open heart. Please, again, listen to the intro. There will be something important for you, I guess. Forgiveness. Nothing can be gained by holding on to past disappointments. I already see a red thread here. Okay, I know where this is going. This is um, a German word. It's 
like, like a breakthrough and it's 21 no sorry 11 it's 11 so that would be the last in many decks i don't know breakthrough in this deck we do have oh gosh what's the word for that um something that is ordinary yeah ordinary ordinary we have heart to heart conversations and worth waiting for okay um I am going to channel a message, but first I want to talk a bit about what I'm seeing because it was so obvious. I already got it with the first card and then here I already knew where it was going. And then the rest just confirmed basically, um, especially forgiveness, which is a number 11. Look, we've got 11, yeah, 11, 11. 11, 11 is of course the number of manifestations or for close soul connections number eight is number of eternity and then we got two sevens look there's hardly any uh, numbers on those cards but those that have they are mirroring we do have seven seven eleven eleven and eight eternity which kind of reminds me of vows okay um so yeah what i got from akashic libraries of course that there is past life stuff okay and um vows vow can be something of course talking about it that there have been some kind of vows in the past i just said in the intro i believe that i yes no i said it in this intro <laughs> that i may that i will soon later do a reading on past lives your connection past life connection check that one out when it comes up because vows of course can be both they can be limiting example for example in a former life you may have um vowed to stay single like when you went to if you have lived in a monastery for example right and um those could be vows that are still holding you back in order to step into a new um life of course past lives don't exist right i mean i just developed this theory lately if time is an illusion and uh, there is only now then there's no path there's just you connect to specific stream of consciousnesses and so you can connect to streams of consciousness and then you see visions of that which is just a stream of consciousness you connect with because um well it, it's um complicated let's just say it's easier yeah there, yes there is past lives i do believe in reincarnation and then i do not because if you take time out of any equation then there can't be linear time at all, which means no past lives or no future lives. Just that stream of consciousness you are right now. However, you can connect to other stream of consciousness, of course. That is how uh, I know several people or I've heard of several people who claim that they have been Marilyn Monroe. Because they just connect very much to that stream of consciousness and therefore can extract visions. And it feels like they have been that person for example um sorry i kind of like um just went off trail again however i do get past let's just call it past life connections okay you have been connected with this stream of consciousness or similar before i'm just talking about past lives to make it less complicated so there have been vows okay and vows um could have been something like yeah, living in a monastery, like I'm not going to get married again. Or if you had have been connected with this specific person before, it could be something like, oh, I'm never going to leave you. And in this life, you may be like a toxic. I'm not saying it is toxic. I'm just giving example. It could be like something that is toxic, but old vows, like I'm never going to leave you, hold you in a situation ship that is no good for you. But it, of course, it could be something positive as well, like we're going to be forever again and again and again and if it's not toxic then you just feel a pull but also you'd feel a pull if it's like a negative stuff that is why many people can't really get out of these karmic um relationships because there may have been a promise that needs to be broken and there is meditations for that on youtube for example or other techniques 
anyways, we do see a vow. Um, I do see it not as a bad thing necessarily in this deck and in, in this um, reading. There is some stuff that needs to be cleared, obviously, with the deception and envy and forgiveness and embracing the future. And what I get very much is leaving something from the past behind. And past can be this life, of course, but it could also be something you brought into this life, like a template. And uh, a template, of course, would be like the information of a past life. And you could check out your south node um, sign and house. And of course, your north node. Um, for that, however, deception and envy. So there seems to be some kind of deception and envy that had been going on either between the two of you, not necessarily, or at least one of you has experienced this in the past and therefore needs some time to open up or is not open right now. But we do have to break through here. So I do see some energies. I see energies from the past with the Akashic libraries and vows. And forgiveness and breakthrough there is something from the past that needs to be forgiven ended in some way in order to step into a new future and we do see her stepping into something I don't know why there's a door and there's nothing else on the other side <laughs> but um, it is about leaving something behind and stepping into yeah something new like I'm not going to take envy with me because as long as there's something like envy we cannot get into a happy relationship if there is unresolved deception you cannot get into a relationship because you will always project that onto the other person and then we do have um, authority you know what is best for you it means knowing yourself finding out what are your old patterns that you have to leave and I don't know why this card is called ordinary Yeah, ordinary, what I get more is like patterns, you know, you do something that you always do and it's about breaking patterns. That is what I get here, especially with the Akashic libraries open, I guess that you will get some insight on what is good for you. However, you see, um, yeah, you will get this breakthrough because we have worth waiting for and heart to heart conversations. So you honestly need to talk about stuff that has been limiting in the past and i don't know if i should i feel like i should do those cards right now i was going to do them at the end these are more talent messages from your person um but again nothing can be gained by holding on to past disappointments nothing can be gained nothing that is very important this needs to heal in order to step through this and um to have the breakthrough but we do have the breakthrough here Vows, of course, can indicate that you are going to get um, married again, if that is what you want. However, I do see a new beginning approaching, but you are called to do some stuff. You are called to do your work. As long as you're holding grudges, then um, the situation, of course, cannot um, progress. Because we always manifest what we uh, vibe. And if you vibe like you have been uh, deceived then the universe will confirm that and you will be deceived again and again and again until you clear that pattern. Uh, and pattern could be a thought pattern. That energy within you, that uh, vibration of being deceived. So I would advise to do, for example, something like Ho'oponopono or anything in order to yeah, leave that behind. One last shuffle. Why do you even like me? So both may have some issues when it comes to self-love or if your person has hurt you, they're like, okay, uh, I get if you don't like me anymore. So, okay. I'm going to tell them and then we get into the channel message. Sorry for talking for that long, but of course, if um, I get a message, I have to deliver it, right? I'm seeing signs and synchronicities. Please take care of yourself. Very important. My feelings for you are overwhelming. I know that this is divine love. I mean, with the Akashic um, library, and that, that's a link to past life. So, yeah. I will contact you very soon. Again, time is an illusion. Very soon can, for some of you, be very soon. But you have to have this breakthrough first. If you need five more years to get there, 
you will wait five more years, not maybe for contact, but for union. If um, you can do it in three weeks, then it can be three weeks, right? But I will contact you very soon. I'm making plans for our future. I want to hold you. I saw you in my dreams and visions even before we met. What I get here is, yes, there has been some kind of vow to me, some kind of soul contract. And please don't be impatient. I can feel a pressure. Okay. So what I get with, please take care of yourself. It means do your work. Get that breakthrough because your other person, your person can only come after you have done your work. So take care of yourself. Be in self-loving vibration because, again, your person can only mirror love to you once you reach their vibration. Seeing signs and synchronicities, your person is reminded of you. If you are in separation, for example, but even if you're not, could be anything like hearing song lyrics that remind them of you or whatever it is, singer initials, birth dates. Um, your person wants to hold you, obviously. They know that this is special. Maybe they would not say, oh, we're soulmates or this is divine love, but they can feel it in a way. But again, please don't be impatient. I can feel that pressure. But I said, it's important that you know who you are and then you will have heart to heart conversations. And divine timing has never to do with a date. So when this card comes up, doesn't have to mean that it's long because if it happens tomorrow, it's still divine timing, right? Divine timing doesn't have to be, oh, it has to be like in a year. Next week is divine timing as well. And divine timing is never set in stone. It's not a date. It's a vibration. It's um, something that is happening inside of you in order to attract it. So now let me check them. I have to get into the energy to channel. Okay. My love, if I ever hurt you, I hope that you do forgive me. To me, you're nothing ordinary at all. I know that you're special. I know this connection is special. I know that this is divine love. I, I, I just know. I can feel it. Um, it's like I am getting some insight. I'm learning stuff about myself, stuff that I have oppressed. I'm recognizing things that I have done wrong in the past, not just with you, but other people in my past as well. And um, right now I'm just learning so, so much about myself. And please give me a little more time because I know that this is important for the both of us because I want to come to you when I'm ready. And I, I, I am having breakthroughs right now. I know you have breakthroughs as well. And I want to step into your new future because I think of you all the time. And it feels like... I'm feeling drawn to you and I cannot resist you. Sometimes, of course, I'm trying to resist you. I'm trying to deny what I feel, but I always feel drawn back to you. It's like something is always reminding me of you. You're always there. And I know that you are good for me. I know you're good for me. I know I'll be good for you as well. And that is what I want to give you. I want to be someone you can depend on. I want to be someone you can be honest with and I am going to be honest with you. I have so much feelings for you that sometimes I have to learn how to handle them. But I am making plans for our future and I dream about holding you and I dream of you at night. I have daydreams about you. And you taught me to forgive the things that happened in my past and do things what you've said that hurt, hurt me, I have forgiven you or am, I am forgiving you. Because I know this is not ordinary. But I do want to build a somewhat ordinary life with you, you know. Ring on your finger the house. You know, like it's, like it's supposed to be, I guess. It feels destined. And that is the problem I sometimes had. Sometimes I felt like I didn't have any free will. It just felt like I was drawn to you and yeah, it's like, where is my free will? <laughs> but I do want it. I choose you. I choose you. I do. I choose you. 
I'm having breakthroughs right now. But until I'm with you, please do take care of yourself. Because, you know, we both had to learn something. It's not just me, it's the both of us that need to forgive things that happened in the past. Not just with one another, but other things as well, other people, other situations. So please give us the time. Don't be impatient. Because if you're impatient, I can feel pressure. Because we are connected. And due to that connection, I can feel what energy you send out to me. So please, darling, don't pressure me. Because this, as it is worth waiting for, I feel it is destined. I feel this is what our souls wanted. I feel this is what was promised to us. I feel that this love, it's burning, it's passionate. There is this fire inside of me that I feel because of you, that I feel when I think of you. I just, I know that I have been deceiving myself sometimes. I was downplaying my feelings for you. But please know, if I ever told you anything, like I don't have feelings for you, I was lying. It was just because I was overwhelmed. Because it's, in fact, I do have a lot of feelings. Yeah, and there is this burning passion. There is this flame. Our love is a flame. We are both flames. We kindred spirits. Music reminds me of you sometimes. And I dream of you and I just want to hold you. And I can feel how we are both ascending. We're getting higher and higher. I just miss holding your hands. Yeah, I miss you. I want to... I do, I do adore you. I want to woo you. I want to step into a new future. But again, I am coming because we're having this breakthrough. I can feel it. It's like I'm right there. I'm right there. You are right there. You are right there too. But we have to do it together. By together, I don't mean... Together, you have to do your part, I have to do mine. And then we are merging. And we will get so much more information about us. It's like a spiritual awakening you have given me. I didn't always believe in this kind of stuff, but then you came into my life and you were like magic. And you make me see seeing things differently than I have before. And I want to tell you. I want to tell you that I now believe in something greater. I know you're good for me. At least most of the time so far. I know sometimes maybe we weren't always good for one another. But they were just all old patterns. They were just the old patterns. But once we stepped into the new us, there will be harmony. Because I do dream about holding you all the time. I have long-term plans with you. My feelings for you are so deep, as deep as the ocean. So, honey, please get ready. Please do your work, because I'm right behind you. And then I will meet you. And then it's going to be for forever, just you and me, love. Just you and me. Till then, my darling. While well, I was channeling, I felt very drawn to this card. And I mean, you're obviously watching it. Pick a card right now, a divination. Look, she's seeing something in here. It's like, I think you feel the other person, even if you're not around. And you both see things differently. I think you see what is coming.
it just needs a lot of time and again time doesn't mean that it has to take long once you get your breakthrough and it's you're the only one who can do it you're the only one who can have your breakthrough by learning to manifest by working on yourself by finding out what your limiting beliefs are and overcoming them and as soon as this happened it's like you're boom and then you're inseparable so please don't make the mistake but many people do they point at their person they're like oh this person is not coming i am so mad at my person no it's never your person it's always you your person is always a mirror of you please um type in youtube everybody is you or everyone is you pushed out and then you will learn that you are the one who has the authority about this situation. It's not your person. Your person is only the reflection from your inside. Not a technique about manif with manifesting is having inner conversations with your SP, twin flame, whatever it is. Okay. If you have conversation, you probably already do. Please watch what you're saying to them. Are you like, oh man... Oh girl, where are you? Why are you not coming? You're manifesting it, your person is not coming. So cheer your on, cheer your person on. But also, even more important, when you talk to them in your mind, have them say what you want to hear. Have them say how much they love you, that you're the only one for them, that they want to hold you, that they are going to... Well, not that they're going to contact you. Don't do that. Because that implies that they're not doing it right now. But just more like, oh, I want to talk to you every day. And um, whatever it is, just in your mind, you can make them say whatever you want to hear. And that way you manifest it. Because what your DM is or your DF, it's like... You all know that we do have an inner child, right? But it's not just the inner child. We also have an inner feminine and inner masculine. Doesn't matter what gender we are. And often, of course, they are formed by the images of the parents that we observe in the childhood. However, you can balance your own inner masculine and your own inner feminine. Your own inner feminine, you can talk to her as well. You can talk to your inner masculine. And when you made peace with your own in a masculine, like what is your picture of masculinity? Even as a woman, I mean, so often we learn that we are the secondary gender, which is not true at all. But um, if you're a woman, you've probably have made those experiences. Like this is a stupid example, but I um. The school system is different in Germany. I did graduate, and um, but I didn't have that kind of graduations. So you need to go to the university. That would have been three extra years. So I didn't do that as a teenager. I went to do that as an adult in my mid twenties. I started with uh, twenty six, graduated with twenty nine. So that I would get um, the certificate, I would need to go to the university. I think it's similar to your junior college if you're American. And so I did that. And I had math teachers. And math was my weak point. I probably would have had 100% or worst case scenario, 99% average at graduation. But I was not good at math. I got C's and D's in math. And I used pretty much everything else. Or occasionally B's, of course. Hated getting B's. But... um. So math was my weak point, and uh, so I only got like a ninety-six percent average. So upset about that. <laughs> no, I'm not because um, that was the best thing that could have happened to me. Because I wanted, I went to the school to study psychology, but I would have needed a ninety-seven percent average, and it, it's very hard. I could have done anything else law medicine everything except for psychology it's hard to get into psychology in germany so i did literature what i actually always wanted to do it just never crossed my mind and then a friend said well do literature and then from the first session i knew first class i knew that i was right 
there. I was it was meant to be there, not in psychology. I was meant to be there. <laughs> so, however, um, what I was talking about is that I had several math teachers that graded me unfairly. I wrote the same grades in exams than, for example, a guy in my class, and I was doing extra work because a new math was my weak um, spot, and I got graded severely worse because I was a woman. And um, that happened actually with two, actually, yeah, two math teachers during that time. And um, why was I talking about that? Um, yeah, it's just like the, the image that, um, it's like the, something you learn from society. Now when I'm manifesting, I know that learning about manifestation, I know if um, everything, everybody's you pushed out, right? So you have like something that you have perceived again and again and again. It's, for example, that women are not always treated the same. But that's not what true masculinity is. True masculine power is not, never, ever oppressing the feminine power. That is distorted masculinity. It's not divine masculinity. It's not. So it is important, especially for fem, but also for masculines. Oh my God. What, um, something I see in my readings, in my personal readings with my clients all the time is that at, at the side of the guy, that they have been oppressed by women. And it starts with um, women seeking a guy and then trying to change them. Like, oh, I don't like what you wear. And then they buy new stuff and, you know, have their stuff disappear. Like, that shirt you don't like about him and uh, then it's gone, you know, ex accidentally lost or accidentally destroyed, stuff like that. Um, that is a form of oppression that many men actually experience. And... That is distorted feminine energy, of course. So it goes vice versa. Both vice versa. Both genders often have come into contact with the distorted version of the same gender, or of course um, their own gender as well, of, this, of their own gender and the opposite gender. And um, as long as you do have that inside of you, that belief system, like men, they are just oppressing women. That is again not divine masculine power a divine masculine knows he's physically stronger than a feminine so he would protect her the feminine energy is the nurturing and the masculine is the protective and also what is the word like providing um even though women are providing as well it's just a different form right so that is um more the natural state and then of course there's more masculine men and uh, of course there can be feminine men and masculine men and I love diversity I love it uh, <laughs> oh no 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 so anyway what I was going to say is you do have an inner masculine as well talk to your inner masculine because your divine masculine if you have a divine masculine or a divine feminine is only a projection of your inner masculine or feminine it's how you see that so you can work within your inner feminine and or masculine about how do I perceive masculinity maybe if you perceive masculinity as yeah men they're just I don't know mansplaining oppressing women then that is what you're going to attract because the universe always 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 has to confirm you so um, what I mean is talk to your own inner masculine, change your perception of masculine and feminine energy, and then you will change the other person you want to attract as well, not by manipulating, but by changing, healing your own beliefs. And um, then you can draw your person in. I know that went kind of metaphysical. I'm sorry for that um, math excursion. <laughs> However, it needs to heal inside of you. If you have the belief your person is slow, I think slow, universe has to confirm it. So talk to your inner masculine 
or your inner feminine, both of them, of course, both need to be healed and balanced. And then you will get that on the outside as well, okay? Anyway, that was your pile number one. That was a long reading. I hope it helped you in some way. If you didn't understand something, you have more questions, please post them below. I, of course, would like to help you grow. That is why I'm doing this. I like helping people grow. Also, of course, I'm like trying to get more private readings. So <laughs> if you want to have a private reading, a personal reading with me, please contact me. Information is below. I would be very honored to do your reading. And um, again, if you could take something out of this, please like, subscribe, help me grow my channel, okay? I wish you all the best. Bye-bye. So, pile number two. Again, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. Let's see what you've got. The Mermaid of Immersion. Complete commitments. Ooh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Um, yeah, you had an extra card with this one. Your imaginary friend. Childhood treasures resurface. Okay. You've got Temptation, which is the devil card in this deck. You've got Atlantis from the past oracle. Um, you've got Sema Determination. A lot of water. Look, got water here, Atlantis, another fish. Um, you know where you're going and you will get there. Hearing messages from spirit. I am a clear channel for messages from spirit. Awesome. I don't ever, I don't remember this card ever coming up before. So congratulations. Focus on love. Look for the good attributes in each other and every person, in each and every person in your life. Look, you got two dragons. I love, love, love dragons. I am very much connected to dragon energy. More so than I would say starseed energy. I don't feel connected to star seeds. Not me personally. Um, anyway, we got... Oh God, this is like doing something slow. Um, but calm. Like in a calm way. It's not slow. It's more like... Relaxed. <laughs> We've got... Oh, sadness. This would be the nine of swords, I guess. We've got free yourself and true love. Okay, we got temptation for yourself. I am going to... Um, do this, I did it for the first pile. Ooh. Let's talk about dragons. Oh, really? Let me see. We have six and six, and six. Six. If look, you got 15 twice. You can check up angel number 15 or 666. Six is connected to inner harmony and balance and nature. Nature could be especially water. There's water here as well. Maybe you can cleanse yourself in water. Take a salt, salt bath if you have a bathtub. Lucky you. I wish I had one. You can take a shower and intend that to clean your um, energy bodies as well. Because we get water so clear here. And um, yeah, 666 is nature. We got 15, 15, 666, and 44, number 8. 44 is a master number, of course, ma number of stability. Very committal, of course, for stability. And it's an 8 as well, eternity. Um, dragons, yeah, dragons. The archetype of dragons, that is how I always started seeing my higher self even though i didn't know i always saw this silver dragon and after i was meditating for like a year regularly i noticed that this is how my higher self um showed up to me as a silver dragon dragon energy is of course they are i think they are connected to the archetype of the wise ones i need some time to myself yeah here and um, so I would not, um, what is the word? I personally don't resonate with starseed energy. I resonate with the wise ones, or you could also, it's very, actually like ascended masters. You know, they have been very connected to this earth for 
thousands of years. Teachers, being teachers here, I once saw visions of myself. Um, and I, I said something about past lives in the first pile, but just to make it um, easier, we're talking about past lives. I had visions of myself as like medicine people and basically all tribes around the world for thousands of years, priests, priestesses. Um, so I feel that could be connected to dragon energy. Dragon energy is teachers, they are wise, they are um, quite protective, of course. <laughs> um, not as mean as um, they're like made out in, in Christianity, of course, right? I mean, Christianity did turn a lot around, but maybe because we do have two, dra two dragons and a unicorn. Maybe you are connected to an Atlantis. I mean, it is said that Atlantis was something that happened in, in this earth. So maybe you're not star seeds. You're more connected to this realm as well. I mean, it has nothing to do with um, the channeled message. It's just something that came through here. Maybe you want to look into ascended masters that are reincarnated wise ones. I don't personally don't resonate with Atlantis. I don't know, I can't say much about that. If I have been there, then I, I never had any vision of that. So I, I need to s tune in what I can say about that card. What I say more is about, I mean, it's underwater, water's f standing for emotions, like deep emotions and ancient knowledge i want to say more about ancient knowledge than um, atlantis specifically because again i don't know much about atlantis and i don't think it is, has been like it is portray portrayed i read a book um from the one who wrote theosophy I forgot his name he wrote about atlantis as well anyway i i don't want to and ad again, the devil card, you don't always have to talk, uh, call it the devil, but it's um, very connected to Capricorn energy. It's like the, 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 you see the red as well. It's the root chakra being very grounded in this earth. So I feel you and your person may have been here on this earth for a long, long time. Of course, if you do resonate with Sarsi, then discard this part and it's not for you, okay? Um just drop it um however i feel that most of you are very connected to this earth and have been had many many lives on this earth you message from spirit you're very connected you can trust your instinct okay so let's see what we else we got we got i want to be your knight in shining armor i am seeing signs and synchronicities I am in a dark place right now. Thanks to you, I now know what true love is. You got true love twice. I want to hold you while you're sleeping. I want you passionately. You're a devil card, right? I'm spiritually awakening. I'm not surprised. Um, seeing you sad and disappointed in me breaks my heart and I don't know how to deal with it. So let's see what else I get. If I get any advice before I get into the channeled message. Okay, there's obviously some old patterns um, that need to be changed and um, I guess they're mostly mental because of the um, sadness, nine of swords energy, which is often anxiety, overthinking. And then we got free yourself and temptation. It's a devil card. And then focus on love. Look for the good attributes in each and every person in your life, which may be that maybe you are not doing that right now. Maybe you're more focused on the negative stuff, which means you are manifesting the negative stuff instead of the positive stuff because you can only manifest what you focus on. So I would advise for you to look up everybody's you pushed out. You can type that here on YouTube. But we get complete commitment and I'm feeling drawn to the word complete, meaning to me completing a cycle. And it does take determination, of course. You know where you're going, you will get there. Where will you get? It's union. Because this is true love. We have true love twice. 
Spirit is on board because you got m hearing messages from spirit. So trust your intuition. You may have, for some of you, have difficulties trusting your intu intuition right now because the devil energy temptation is, um, to me, often showing up when somebody's more in the ego, more seeing the bad side instead of the good, focused on what is not good. So I would advise you to learn to stop that so you can free yourself from that negative thinking because it is caging you and it's caging your person. You can only get to your goal um, with determination again. So you are asked to roll up your sleeves and do your work. Because I feel with the Atlantis card, ancient knowledge, knowledge and hearing messages from spirit. I am a clear channel for messages from spirit. Spirit is talking to you. You're just maybe too much in your head. And something's happening to your person as well. We have I am spiritually awakening. Don't be mad at your person if they're taking their time. If you think they're walking too slow. Because your person is in a dark place right now. Which means that they have to clear some stuff. Temptation, devil could of course be anything just negative thought patterns but also um substance abuse stuff like that could be there as well or just um yeah having a strong ego right now and your person again is picking up on whatever energy you send towards them because we have seeing your sudden disappointment me breaks my heart and i don't know what how to deal with it meaning i feel trying to pressure your person and you're like, oh, I'm so mad at you. It's not that they can change overnight. It's more like you are creating more obstacles because your person wants to be good for you. Your person wants to stand in a good light. Your person wants that you focus on what is good in them. Because as long as you focus on what is not good, first of all, you are creating blocks. Okay, you are creating blocks. Because you can, again, only manifest what you focus on. So don't focus on what you don't want. Focus on the good. And um, so you are pressuring your person and pressuring only call, um, results and resistance. So you are making your journey longer to union as long as you're holding on to any kind of grudges and you don't do your work. And what I see in this card, and I love it, is look how he's reaching out to this key and the key has a heart and he has a lock there so your person wants to reach out and unlock his or her heart for you isn't that beautiful imaginary friend childhood treasure refers resurface um what i get here mainly is oppressed stuff is coming up for both of you or at least one of you take what resonates it's a general reading not a personal one meaning but that's a good thing if thought patterns come back up or if you are um, confronted with the same patterns again and again and again it's important to have it resurface so you can heal it you can clear it it's your job to clear it. Um, for some of you, if you feel drawn to pile number one, I was talking a lot about, at the end of pile number one, about our inner feminine and masculine side and how that, of course, can affect the relationship. Also, in the intro, I was talking a lot about that I feel that many people are getting close to a breakthrough right now. I was talking about another reading I just did. So if you feel called to the intro, uh, it's not just shuffling. I was actually doing a lot of coaching <laughs> in the beginning. Um, your person says, thanks to you, I now know what true love is. And look, they want it. They're reaching out to true love. Complete commitment. They want commitment. Again, water can clear something away. And it is important that you both clear stuff away. And um, we have that you have this good connection to spirit. And what I'm seeing is like her eyes, they're not really clear. I mean, there's tears maybe in there. But it's like more looking on your inside and not focusing on what you see in the 3D. 
but more working on your inner self in order to again change the outside give me a second i want to fill in so we can get to the channel part I knew from the very first beginning that you were special. I just knew it. I saw it. And I saw you and I knew it. I didn't always know how to handle it. I was a bit overwhelmed. I guess you were too. <laughs> I was tempted by you. For the beginning, I thought that maybe it was just something sexual. I wanted you passionately. I still do, of course. Oh my God, if you knew how much I want you in that way. But that's not all it is because... You know what? I think this might be true love. It just, you were there. And everything changed. I wasn't even looking for somebody new in my life. I wasn't over my past. I was still in sadness. And I have these old negative patterns. But then you came. And I was like, shit, what is happening here? I don't know how to explain it. It is so different from everything I've experienced before. I think you're absolutely beautiful and sexy too, man. If you knew how sexy you are to me. <laughs> I put you a bit on a pedestal, I have to admit. And... um yeah, you, you're just bringing so much new information to me. It's like I am awakening. It was like I was sleeping before and now I'm awakening. And I am seeing signs and synchronicities. I hear people saying your name. Music reminds me of you. I dream of you. And I just want you to think good of me. I think sometimes... You focus too much on my mistakes and I'm ashamed and I'm embarrassed. I don't know how to deal with it when I see that sadness in your eyes. If I see anger because I want to be good for you. I want to be good for you. It's just sometimes it's not so easy to leave those old patterns behind. But I do want to free myself because you're worth it. I am determined to get you to woo you and to absolutely commit with you forever forever and ever because I feel connected to you in a way that sometimes maybe I'm a bit obsessed you unlocked my heart I, I feel like sometime in the past I just locked, took a key locked my heart and threw it away but you made me look for that damn key so that I can open it again I know that you think I'm too slow, but I am doing what I can. I am passionate about this. I'm passionate about you. It's just not easy right now. I'm in this dark place because it's like a tidal wave. Everything I have oppressed, it just comes up. And what is this? What are you doing to me? You make me face stuff I didn't want to face. I thought I had loved in the past, but I know, know that I haven't. It wasn't what love is supposed to be like. I had like this old pattern of, okay, you meet someone and, and then you date and then you go one, from one step to the next. But this is so different with you. I want to hold you. I want to smell you. I want to look at you all the time. I want to see you. I want to... I feel you, I want to hug you. I want to go on vacations with you. I want to grow very, very old with you. Sometimes I feel like I'm hearing you. It's like your voice is in my head. And sometimes it's whispering sweet things to me. And sometimes it's telling me I'm not good enough. It's telling me that I'm, yeah, just not good. 
that I'm doing stuff wrong, that I'm hurting you, that you're disappointed. And what am I supposed to do with that? I would just want that voice, the negative voice to stop. I just want it to stop so I can focus on, on growing this, on growing myself, on completing this part so we can move on together. I want you to look at me and I want to see that love in your eyes. I know it's there. Lately it hasn't always been there in your eyes. And I looked into your eyes and I saw like this emptiness and it breaks my heart. And I'm sad because I I am breaking out of my old chains. But it's not so easy. It's not easy. It's really not easy. But I am doing it. I am. So please, please watch what energy you're sending me. I want to be your hero. I want to be your knight in shining armor. I want you to see the good in me so I can see it myself because sometimes I forgot. I know that there's a good person inside of me, just sometimes I forgot. Please help me remind me of the good in me. And as soon as I remember, as soon as I am awakened to who I am, man, I'm going to hold on to you. And I'm not letting you go, not even when you're sleeping. I want to hold you day and night. I just want to hug you. I want to caress you. I want to please you sexually, of course, as well. I want you passionately. I want you softly. I want to kiss your lips. I want to smell you. I want you to whisper into my ears. And I just want calmness. There's been so much stress and distress in my life. I have been so hurt in the past. And I know you have been too. I've been so hurt. And I just want peace. And I know I can have it with you. So please be kind to me. Please com be compassionate. Please don't pressure me. Because... Once we are together for real, oh, if we're going to stay together. I'm absolutely committed to you, to this journey. I am determined. I am committed. I am determined. I know that I want you and I will get there. And even if I have to swim upstream, even if it is really hard, I'm getting there and I'm getting out of the dark. I'm stepping into the light. I'm going to grab that key. I'm almost there, honey. Now my heart is yours. It already is, but then I will show you. I will show you. Trust me. You can trust me. We can do this, both of us, you and me. Are you in? We're doing this together, yes? I'm in. And I will hold you very soon, my darling. Till then, bye-bye. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I don't think I have too much to add. I mean, the free yourself, I think temptation, I think it's for both of you. Because your person can only marry you. Which means if um, there are still issues like this, there is issues inside of you and I don't mean it in a way that I blame you in any way I mean we've all we've all been hurt like I've been hurt before of course and um, every trauma it's kind of forming who you are so it's not anybody's fault <laughs> it's just however it's not fault but it's responsibility to take responsibility and to push through stuff to know that whatever happened in the past is not supposed to get my future true because if somebody hurt you in the past and you let that control you in a way that person who hurt you still has power over you don't give anybody power over you it's important to push through and um, 
last night I, f I didn't find it I, I just found the site YouTube channel a while ago I'm interested in psychology and um, there was something you su suggested to me and then I went from one video to the next to the next to the next because it was interesting and I heard about one yeah I saw one video about uh, from a psychologist and I forgot the right term what it is called but it's a new technique that means um, like in, you know why don't animals have traumas like we do I mean it's um, imagine you're a prey animal and you see your family member getting eaten by a lion and your life is in danger all the time why don't they have PTSD and it's about because they react right then and it is shown that like I think they use gazelles for an example they're shaking and um, they're living through that pain in that moment and then they shake it off because they don't oppress and it's oppressing stuff that is creating of course um, mental problems and health problems as well and it was actually focused on, on health problems about um, what spiritual people always knew it's what science is finding out now that pretty much every disease is connected to or linked to a mental oppressed problem and so it is important to not oppress stuff, but when it comes up to heal right now, it's something that I have done intuitively for years. I'm a very emotional person, and when I have to cry, I do it right then. If I'm angry, what um, hardly ever happens, I see what's on my mind right then and just get it out. And I'm, for example, nobody who, who, who holds grudges, which is very uncommon for Mars and Scorpio people. Maybe the uh, Aqua Moon is stronger in that regard. I don't, I, I don't hold grudges. I say it once. And I would ever only mention it again if the same stuff would come up again, if that person would do the same stuff again. But it's important to do it, deal with it, uh, your emotions right then. And um, that way you don't, um, you don't save it in your, within your body. And so that was very interesting. And I feel that you are, I think both of you, getting rid of old trauma right now. And again, it doesn't matter if you're the feminine, doesn't matter if you're female, uh, or fem female or male. The feminine usually is the energy that goes forward and the masculine is the following energy. So don't make the mistake thinking your person has to come when you still have unhealed issues because your person cannot come. Your person can only project to you what's inside of you. So you do your work too, you can, because you, there is determination, there is commitment. And you are getting messages from spirits. I get it very clearly here. It just stopped that inner voice that is telling you, oh, it's taking too long. He's, he or she's not going to be able to do it. Work on that, because again, we do have this beautiful card, focus on love. Look for the good attributes in each other and every person in your life. Look for the good. And then again, we do have... 666. Six, six. 6 is the number of love in Tarot. It's connected to the lovers. It's the Six of Cups, of course, is a very loving card. Uh, six of Pentacles is um, yeah, creating harmony. Six of Swords, also leaving something troublesome behind and getting into a karma energy. And then Six of Wands, of course, is victory. Lovers is love. But also making a decision, making a commitment to yourself, self-love as well. So it's um, very, um, uh, very, very um, significant, number six. So again, you can Google angel number 666, go to nature. And you are both spiritually awakening, so you are going to get this. You have already got it. That is what you should believe. You already got it because you already decided you want it. So basically... It's already, it's already ready for you. <laughs> you just have to like open the door. And open the door meaning leaving the limiting beliefs behind. Okay? So this is what I got for you, pile number two. Of course, you can book a personal reading with me. I would be very happy to do that for you. And um, yeah. Please like, subscribe, and share if this helped you in any way. And I'm afraid before I go to number three, I have to go.
the bathroom real quick. <laughs> Sorry, it's number three, so you have to wait a second, but the timestamps are below, okay? Bye bye. Bye bye, number two. Love you. Number three is just another second. I need to drink a little bit more water. Sorry. I'm thinking about cutting this out, but actually when I use the YouTube, um, how you call it, like, where you can work on, on your videos, you know, cut stuff out, it actually takes hours to load. I did it like twice and once you save it, the um, alterations you did, it really takes hours for it to process that. It takes longer than uploading something. Okay. Number three. What's your message? The black cat. Last magic atonement rebalance. I don't know what retonement means. Crown chakra, scribe or rider, dove serenity, slow down, pause and breathe. Mending bridges, I heal rifts, I am a mender, heal. Then we have feel, well rebalance is similar to healing, right? We do have slow down, oh my god, slow down twice. This is why I do live shuffling folks. This is why I'm freaking doing live shuffling. <laughs> you don't have the worth rating for a card that was in the previous pile. <laughs> but yeah, synchronicities, guys. Okay, if spirit is telling you to slow down the two cards, um, it's, it's very clear, right? I'm going to put it here. Um, when you are excited, you get ahead of yourself. Take some time to allow things to unfold. Then you do have morality. Oh, holding on to the past. Let go of control issues and religious factors. Some of you may have been um, drawn to pile number two as well. If you are drawn to pile number two, you may find some messages in there as well. So let's check this. Open up. Not just because of the waiting, but the crown chakra we had... Um, Similar card. I'm just taking the top one. That was talking a lot about being connected to spirit. Pile one, two, pile uh, five, one as well. And let go of control issues. That we did have that in the previous pile before with the devil card. And free yourself. So there is a um, similarity to all the piles. But mostly pile two so far. Oh, you can't see me shuffling. Sorry, I'm just. Religious factors. We have religious factors for me, kind of like twice with the. I mean, he's got a crown. And then the crown chakra. What I get is that maybe you can look into manifestation by doing revision. Revision is very important to heal stuff because we got healing here. So please check Revel got a revision technique or just revision technique manifesting. Type it here in, in YouTube. And um, not just revision but also scripting. You can manifest with scripting. I'm 
broken. Okay, let's read those messages. I want to commit to you, which is awesome. I love how beautiful you are. Your beauty intimidates me. Okay, those are 104 cards, and I believe there's only two that have something but beautiful. I know you have been through a lot. Sorry, that is my tummy growling. I'm kind of hungry now. There's something I need to take care of first. Grass wasn't greener on the other side. You are my beloved. So I'm thinking about contacting you all the time, but I'm too shy. I'm making plans for a future. I cannot believe you even exist. Yeah, that's it perfectly. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me look at that, what I'm getting. I mean, it's obviously, we do have stuff about healing, right? We have, um, where was the healing? Now we got rebalance. Didn't we have one about healing? Huh? Pause. Why did I read healing? Oh, here. I heal rifts. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> so healing is an issue right now for both of you, okay? I always say both of you. This is your channeled um, person's um, messages. However, you are connected to your person. And as I said, some, something very important in pile one, if you... I'm just going to say in one sentence i'm not going to do that whole thing again um if you're interested in that you can um check out pile number one about like we do have an inner child but you also have an inner masculine and inner feminine doesn't matter what gender we are and um the inner masculine inside of us of course has been formed by experience we have made with male people but in the feminine of course with feminine feminine people, women, and um, your loved one, your person, your DM, SP, DF, whatever it is, can only mirror back to you what you have on your inside. So it's important to make peace with your own inner masculine and your own inner feminine and your own inner child. Okay. Yeah. Bring back balance. And um, so it's important. So again, that was way more detailed in pile number one. I explain it way better there. Check it out if you feel called to. However, we do see healing is a big issue here. Especially with slowing down. And um, this is, again, being stuck to the past is what this one means. And morality can be like um, maybe being judge judgmental or having been judged may have been an issue. Maybe you judge your person, maybe you feel judged. Let me check out the numbers because numbers have been significant. <coughs> and the previous lap pies. Now we got a 30, which is a 3. It's number of growth. We got a 7, the spiritual number, and a 9, ending of cycles. And of course a 5. 5 is number of change. But we don't have any synchronicities and numbers in this pile like we did in the previous piles. But we do have the synchronicity with slow down, obviously. Um... Give me a second. I need to take this energy and let go of control issues. Control issues so are an issue here. Maybe you have felt con being controlled in the past and that is not healed. Maybe you are trying to control the situation. If your person, for example, needs some time to themselves, give them that time. Don't push the other person. You are connected. To the other person, it's a spiritual connection. We do see that with religious factors. I um, usually don't take it, um, take for granted what's on there. Your love life is influenced by your religion's upbringing and spiritual path. Um, so it's often seen as you have differences in age, religion, culture. It could, of course, be. But to, more, to me, it more means like there is some kind of spiritual connection because it's a spiritual path. And that, to me, implies that you did not meet this person by chance there was a higher plan um, 
involved, of course. And you also met this person in order to heal, to mend bridges. And that could be, again, the inner masculine and feminine within yourself. So that can be mirrored out to you um, in this relationship, by getting into this relationship. Because your person does want to commit. Your person does think you're beautiful. However, um, your person needs to take care of something, of something first. Which also implies, again... If your person's not ready, it implies that you're not ready. Because once you're really, really ready and committed to that, that path and to yourself, you draw in your person fast. But we do have this being stuck, again, this was my belly, sorry, being stuck in um, past stuff. And so there is some healing. I get healing here as well because, you know, she's like sleeping, resting. So we got resting. Slow down, yeah. It's important to slow down. And not to overthink. I get overthinking because there's like this looks like a labyrinth or here's like some kind of labyrinth. We've got uh, mending bridges. We have another bridge here. We got two flames. Two fires, two flames. Another hint that it is a strong connection. Oh, I just noticed this web. Please check out the intro, the live shuffling. I was explaining something that I saw, something that I noticed in my readings lately. And um, while I was doing the shuffling, I had an image of a vision of a vision I have had in the past about new webs being um, weaved. So please check out the intro if you feel guided to. I give a little coaching session in the intro. <laughs> So please check it out. And because you do have the web here, this might be important for you. Again, I don't want to pressure you, only if you feel called to do it. Um, what I'm also feeling noticing is the white bird and the black bird. That can be something like yin yang, counterpart energy. And again, it's important to first... Balance the feminine and masculine within yourself. Please check out pile number one for more information on that. But I get the white and the black bird. So that is something I notice. <laughs> just let me take in that, that energy. I'm sorry. It just sometimes takes a bit. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Sorry, that was my belly crumbling again. Um, you do have a strong crown chakra, but you need to ground yourself, <laughs> work on your root chakra in order to um, strengthen your crown chakra. Okay, um, why do I get that? Because we do have the crown chakra right next to it. There's this scarecrow or what it's called. It has a hat on it. You know, it's like there's a lid. There's something on top of your crown chakra. It's not open. And... Um, you do have a great crown chakra. I mean, the crown chakra came out. It just right now you seem to be um, too much, stuck too much in the past. And therefore, spirit who wants to talk to you all the time cannot really access you. Please, again, if you feel drawn to pile number two, check it out. I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop saying that right now. I'm sorry. Um, but I feel like, yeah, there is something... Holding on to old beliefs means that there may be like a distorted root chakra because the root chakra is like finding your own inner security. I mean, that is also the solar plexus, but your own finding security, finding, yeah, trust, you could say, right? So, um, Lack of control issues there. I feel you You try to manipulate something too much. Again, I get this maybe judgmental energy, judging your person for mistakes that they have made. However, your person, again, can only reflect back to you what's on your inside, whatever is unhealed. Your person wants to come to you. Again, I feel that there's a strong connection with um, both. Like, kind of for me, like crown chakra cards. Slow down doesn't mean that it has to take a long time till you get to union because it is more like do it now get into that relaxed state 
do self-reflecting, which is very important here. And um, again, you can use the revision technique and it can work quite fast in order to heal stuff. Pause and breathe. Make inner peace within yourself. I get the main thing here is that there's a lack of inner balance and that is um, what is a person is projecting outward because your person loves you. You are the beloved. You're beautiful. They want to commit. I cannot believe you even exist is another hint to me that there is something very special in this connection. Your person is making plans. I know you've been through a lot. I think that counts for both of you. So again, I'm not, I'm not trying to judge you. Never, ever. Um, I'm just trying to give you hints that there is something that maybe you're not seeing right now and it's important to heal it. And, um, yeah. Okay, give me a second to get into the channeled message. Oh, my beautiful, beautiful darling. Oh, God. You're so pretty to me, but that's not all. I feel that there is this connection between us. I miss you. There, I, I do miss you. Maybe you won't believe me because I'm not reaching out right now. But I do miss you. But there's just something I need to take care of first. There's some old patterns, some things in my daily life that I need to get rid of. And... Um, yeah, something, it's like the past is still holding on to me, but I do want to get into the future. If I've ever hurt you, I'm so sorry. I do hope that we are getting to mend the bridges because I want to merge with you. I want to melt into you. I want to talk to you. I'm thinking about writing you often. I really do. It just not doesn't feel like the right time yet. But I know we do get our chance. Maybe it's our second or third chance, whatever it is. I know we're getting our chance. I am making plans. I have visions of us being together. But right now I just need some time to myself. So, yeah, it, 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 everything needs to unfold naturally. I mean, we need to slow down and then it will just unfold right i know it is because this was meant to be it's just like we cannot we cannot force stuff as as soon as we force it it's not going to work out and that is not what i want i want it to work out so 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 much you know i'm a bit anxious sometimes i feel a bit lost right now i have to admit it's sometimes I feel so connected to you that I feel like I can, it's like I can hear you speak to me and sometimes I don't. And then I'm feeling like maybe you abandoned me and I don't know if you still like me and I'm upset and I'm feeling heartbroken. And um, sometimes I know I'm trying to contact you with telepathy because I know sometimes we do do that. I know sometimes we do have telepathic conversations. Maybe I don't always consciously know that, but still, I, I feel that there is something so special. There must be some something like telepathy, because sometimes you, you just look at me and you know exactly what's going on with me. It, it's a bit creepy sometimes, <laughs> but at the other side, I do love it. I love it. It's just so special. It's just sometimes I feel like I look into your eyes as well. And sometimes I'm scared that you're judging me for being too slow, for being shy. But I want you to know that I am making plans for our future. Yes, maybe sometimes I'm shy. But that is because I put you on a pedestal. You're so special to me. It's, I, I, maybe I can't even always tell you. Maybe... I even told you the opposite, that you're not good enough for me, but that is not true. That was just me trying to protect myself. However, I guess I feel we are going to get a breakthrough soon. It's just we ha just have to let it flow. And I'm doing what I need to do to get out of this prison that I feel like 
I have made myself. But I'm feeling when I'm with you, often it's so peaceful. It's so, so peaceful and it's weird. I haven't felt about like this about anybody. I miss you. Again, I know I said it before and if you're like, well, if you miss me, why don't you reach out? It's it, it just, I do need to care, take care of something else first. I need to get out of this cage. Sometimes I talk to you in my mind. I talk to you quite often. I attempted to write you. I've already made like conversations in my head that I actually want to tell you or write to you. And I, I will. I will. Just please meditate. Listen into yourself because I'm there. I'm inside of you because you're part of me and I'm part of you. And then you will hear me tell you how much I love you. Because this is special. You're my beloved, you're my darling. And please give me the time, please don't contact me right now. Now, right now. Because I just need this time to balance. If I would tell you how much you mean to me, <laughs> I, again, why do I always get the feeling that you won't believe me? Well, it's my past. I know I haven't always acted in the right way. And I'm so scared that you do judge me. I have been judged in the past. And I just don't want this to happen to me again. But I know this is going to be special and different. You're like my queen. You're my angel. My little dove. <laughs> and I'm going to make my way to you. I'm going to grab you. I'm going to dance with you. It feels like every night I'm trying to creep into your head. But in a good way. In a very good way. I have those plans like buying a house. It feels kind of fated. To be honest, this connection, it does feel kind of fated. It just, I did lose my way right now for a while. But I am coming for you, honey. Don't you ever forget that. Don't you ever doubt that. Please don't doubt me. Please don't doubt me because you're so much connected. It's like I can sometimes look inside your head. And I know you can look into mine. It just... Don't listen to those voices that are like saying, you. oh, he's not going to do it. She's not going to do it. I am. I will. Okay, my darling. I wish you all the best. I, I, I'm coming, okay? I'm coming for you. I want to commit. So till then, my sweetie. Bye-bye. Okay, I have to say, this one was the toughest to channel. It was like... Yeah, like, um, forcing, like trying to penetrate your person. <laughs> it's like your person feels sad, but a bit like, like they're in some kind of a bubble. And it was hard to, to reach them. That is why there were that many like long pauses. I'm sorry for that. I was just like. It was a bit like going fishing. It, it's still, it's like, yeah, I'm... Usually when I channel, I talk, I often, and in those channel messages, I'm, when I'm connected to, to other people, I'm usually not talking that fast. Unless, of course, it's a person that just wants to spill everything out. <laughs> When I'm talking to spirit, you probably notice I talk very, very fast. It just comes in that fast the information. But right now it was kind of like, I felt like I was saying the same stuff over and over again. I think a person is kind of like stuck in 
thought patterns. Yeah, we have again this card being stuck to the past, and you see that that head is like in a box, and they they're trying to get out of that box. They 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 will, they will. Just again, don't push them. Give them time they need because the more you would pressure them, the longer it would take. But this one was kind of like, yeah, I feel your prison maybe kind of like cage, and I'm feeling dizzy right now. But they are taking care of something. It's um, resting. I think a lot of your person healing is during sleep at night. I don't think they do so much consciously. It's more spirit working with them. It's happening in the subconscious. But what I get here, and it was stronger than the other piles even, is that strong telepathic conversation. If you're wondering where those cards came from, those were looking right there and I took the heart broken. And then there was like this one underneath and it felt right and I had to grab it and this one was right underneath. And I think, again, this is like a deck of 104 cards. I think there's only like two cards about telepathy. So both came up and I've just felt so guided to, to grab them. And um, I got telepathy, of course, here with the um, crown chakra. Here, another crown chakra. I mean, the, the crown. I mean, you see, it's a crown, right? Over the head. And then this, I mean, look how those heads are merged into the other. And um, so, yeah, the, the feeling of that you have a strong connection, you're talking probably a lot in your sleep. I felt very drawn to this sleeping person here. I'm feeling weird. I'm feeling kind of dizzy. I'm feeling weak. And I'm kind of like shaking. I don't know, maybe a person is very anxious. There may be some, I'm, I'm not a doctor, but there may be some kind of mental problem like right, right now that they're not very, um, I've, my head feels foggy. It's hard to articulate myself right now. And I'm feeling they're having a hard time even articulating what's going on with them. Again, I feel like I'm shaking. I'm feeling weak right now. And um, it, look, it's lost magic. It feels like somebody who feels lost right now. However, this connection is kind of healing for both of you. But again, it's like taking time to heal. Sorry, I'm kind of really dizzy and there's like this... I don't know if that feeling in my stomach is just because I'm kind of hungry <laughs> or... If, it has something else to say right now, but I, I, I do feel weird. I feel dizzy. I feel shaky. I feel confused. I can't talk fluently. But you see, I, um, I'm making plans for the future and I want to commit to you. There's like two, your person does want this. And since your person can only mirror you, I said in the beginning, please do your chakra work. Please earth yourself, ground yourself, okay? This would help your person. And please also make sure how you think about your person because your person can change instantly. Once you stop seeing them being trapped, your person can get out of that trap. Yeah, let go of control issues. I mean, there's like some... I think your person has, has been through a lot. I mean, we have... I know you have been through a lot. This may mean you, both of you, or it could be I have been through a lot. I, f I think there's like... I get so much darkness here. I feel like I want to cry. I feel like something, maybe something really bad has happened in this person's life. Maybe some severe trauma, maybe some kind of abuse, physical, mental, whatever kind of abuse. And your person is working through stuff. 
and this connection is kind of like forcing your person to work through their stuff however we don't want to focus too much on the negative because again um, what we focus on needs to needs to stay and you again again you, you see the way I'm talking it's not how I'm usually talking it's <sighs> has this pressure on my chest I'm dizzy feeling weak I'm still feeling shaky look let go of control and then there's this caged energy and there's but your person can do it because you only attracted one another in order to do it again i'm feeling drawn to those two flames can be twin flames doesn't have to be but i feel like there's kindred spirits i think you both probably have been through similar stuff I noticed again the similarity, the synchronicity. Both cards say slow down. And then we have allow the situation to unfold naturally. Take some time to allow things to unfold. So there is big synchronicity in this pile as well. That is why I do the life shuffling so you know that I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm never pre selecting cards you see all the spirits in the back spirit is helping you look how scared this child looks never noticed that before it's like I it may have been some childhood trauma but your person can do it your person can do it you can help your person you can script for example again scripting is a amazing method you can script your person having overcome not overcoming having overcome this <sighs> i feel like i should there's something else i need yes i know okay there is a card i didn't do this for the other piles but i don't want to leave you like this because uh, I am a coach, right? And um, I want to make help people heal. I want to help people ascend. I'm going to draw a card from this pile. I think this has amazing, amazing, amazing advice. Because this reading, the, the last one was not very satisfying for me. And of course, it, 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 it's okay, it's okay, because if there's like a dark blind spot, it's just part of the journey, right? I mean, I have been through that as well, I know. I'm still shaky. I oh, jeez. I'm, I'm shaking. I'm, it's not because I'm cold. I'm not cold. I'm shaking. Okay, I'm, I'm not looking at those cars. I don't want to be influenced by color or anything. Okay. okay, I noticed yellow and green. First of all, yellow is the solar plexus chakra. It's the chakra of self-worth. Power. Your person is not in his or her power right now. But again, you can help your person. And then the heart, healing, heart chakra, right? Let's check it out. Wheel of life. <sighs> okay. The wheel of life, you can pause and take a screenshot to list, to read it again and again and again, okay? The wheel of life is constantly moving. Embrace change and allow your fun, playful self to discover the adventure of life. So we saw change, we had number five. Okay, there, there is change happening. It just needs to happen in, um, I guess, maybe in separation with these slow down cards before you get back together, but your person wants to get back, okay? Sorry. Um... Combine your personal wisdom together with your intuition to create a magical result and feel a flow through your body, mind and soul. Feel your questions of life as creative excitement and expansion of you and all. This energy and wonderment of life unlocks the door into your divine love. Oh my God. Okay, again, this energy and wonderment of life unlocks the door into your divine love. Divine love, okay. Meaning affecting your person as well. Power and wisdom. 
Push the door open and behold the light of your essence shining brightly from your inner star. Step through the door and emerge as a conscious multidimensional light being fully awakened, ready to serve on this planet and inspiring others to unlock their star. Inspiring others. You, doesn't matter if you're male or female, you change your energy and you will inspire, you will affect your person, okay? You will also affect your person if you think negatively on them but that's not the effect you want you can help them step into the light by seeing them that they are worthy and that they can do it ask the universe to show you something in the next 24 hours that you have not seen before again you can pause and just take a screenshot i feel i should get another one i'm getting another one i feel there's some this one A sign. Oh my god. Something you have not seen before. That is like asking for a sign. The universe will help you, okay? We got a sign. Sit quietly and close your eyes as your highest and again sorry, we were talking so much that you have this strong telepathic conversation with a connection. So it, it could be involving that that your person is trying to send you signs via that way. Sit quietly and close your eyes. Ask your highest self to show you a sign that represents your highest development for this life. Whatever comes will be the most perfect sign to breathe life into your highest will at this time. Your sign may be a color, a feeling, or an inkling, a memory, a guide, or an angel, something abstract or a symbol. Imagine your sign is gently floating in front of you. Light, energy, and wisdom shine from your sign and saturate every part of you. All is transformed, giving you full access to your higher will and courage. Be inspired by this newly found part of you. Allow it to reveal your highest development, your highest path, what makes you happiest. Open your eyes and continue to flow through your day. Okay, we have synchronicity, but I feel there is there's more. There's one more. I don't feel satisfied yet. There is still <laughs> there is still there's another message. And I'm still shaking. Oh look, we have, we have the. Is this the same card? No, it's. Oh, there's several pages, but it's it's similar. Look, another synchronicity. Divinity. You're always connected to an infinite stream of divine guidance. Still yourself again. Still pause again. Still yourself for a moment and allow it to flow to your awareness. Imagine a point of light within your heart center. See it growing into a golden flame. Feel its beautiful warmth, sending waves of relaxation through you. This is your light of love, a guiding presence that is always with you. Allow your being to rest in this place. Trust this light knows you and always revealing your truth and essence to you. And again, you are connected to another person. If you do that, you will affect your other person as well. Wow, this was, um, this is so weird, oh my god. Okay, sorry, you got another one. Why sorry, I mean spirit wants to, I, I, I don't rem imagine, I don't remember ever seeing this card before. And when I just, got, that it just, I don't know if you saw it, but I grabbed all the cards and they just stayed there and I had to stare at it. And I just grabbed it and I wanted to, to, to see what it said and then i knew it was a message for you remember i was um showing you the web here and the intro i was talking about webs and i can't believe it because look what came up weave your life it's i, I was talking about oh my god spirit is amazing look at the synchronicities okay this is amazing um so again if you feel called to listen to the intro the shuffling please okay you can um pause you are standing at the edge of everything you desire take a step or leap into what the mind perceives as the unknown and you will pull towards you all your dream about and desire create 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 
You are a work of art in progress. Weave a different web full of your dreams and desires and be willing to meet them when they arrive. Get yourself ready by knowing that they are the that they are on their way. Oh my god, your person is on their way. Just pause, okay? Get yourself ready by knowing that they are on their way and by being present in each moment. If you are distracted by the future or the past, you won't know that they have arrived. Your life is happening now and you are weaving the direction of your life in this moment. Where would you like to, your life to go? The choice is yours. Spiral inward and feel your wonderment. Holy shoot. This is a major synchronicity for me as well because again I was talking about this in, in the intro. And also I, I don't know if... I was talking about the concept of past lives in, in the intro as well of pile one. But wow, this is and now I'm happy. Now I'm happy <laughs> that this card came out and now I, I feel I can send you out there, create, create, you create. Okay, please listen to manifestation. You can Google Never Goddard. Um I like the YouTube channel Unseen Seraph. And um, again, uh, revision technique, scripting technique, please do yourself a favor because you can speed up your manifestation so fast by actually doing your stuff, slowing down, not pressing the other person, but by focusing on yourself. And um, I am, um, I've never seen this one before. Wow, okay, major synchronicity, guys. Wow, okay. <laughs> I know spirit can do it. Or we manifest that. So, yes. Now I feel like I can let you go. <laughs> I wish you all the best. If this helped you in any way, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. You can win your own free reading once you once I hit 500 subscribers. I'm going to give away two readings, and um, yeah, that was two hours of my time. But spirit wanted to deliver you messages way longer than I had expected. But I mean, that's what a medium is, right? We deliver what spirit wants to say, and spirit tells sometimes they take their time or they want to be detailed, and I don't like shallow readings. Not ever. I don't do. I don't do shallow readings. I'm not um, a fan of those. I'm not a fan of just. Um, yeah, I, I want to dive deep because I know as a coach I have responsibility, right? And my responsibility is to help people grow, to help heal, to um, letting people know how much power they have. And you have power. It's um, You have the power to change whatever you want to change. But only by actually doing it. By listening to um, your own mind. By listening to um, your own gut feeling. By You are connected to spirit. And um, I can only guide you the way of course. But it's your job to, to walk it. And... That is what I love about my job. I love helping people grow. And I love it when sometimes I get feedback like, wow, you have actually literally changed my life for the better since I've been talking to you. So that's what I, not what I live for. It's part of what I live for, of course. It's it's this job. So yeah, I wish you all the best. Bye-bye, okay? Bye-bye.